Topeka, Kansas. Um, and his his funding went from six to seven deals a month to me now funding two deals. So I'm going to get the story behind that and uh, pitch melting. Okay, great. Okay. Um, Coach, do you have any questions for them? No. Take it away when you're ready. I'm going to move. Ring, ring. Hi, this is Lonnie. Hey Lonnie, it's Adriana with CPS. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Great. Um, how's it going? It's going good. How's business over there for CPS? It's all right. How's it going over there? It's um, We're a little bit slow right now through the holidays and stuff. Yeah, I noticed. You were one of my high funding dealers. I was funding six to seven deals with you and now I'm down to uh, two with that. What's going on? Well, on top of us being slow, um, we've gotten some better uh, rates through Prestige and Cap One. What kind of what kind of rates are you getting through Prestige and um, Cap One? Nine, ten percent. Alrighty. And what about your fees? Um, hundred dollar flat. Okay. And um, what if I what, what if I told you that we we're buying deep and I can try to try to get your calls matched with Prestige and Cap One? Um, what do you what do you mean by that? Well, um, right now our, our credit department's currently buying deep in our marketing department. So um, if you send us your approvals to uh, uh, Prestige or Cap One, I can uh, send it up and try to get it matched or beat. All right. Well, we just actually sent a, a mailer with Cap One. Um, so we, you know, we got. I'm kind of been sending all my a lot of that stuff to them. Yeah, I understand. Uh, but Let's I also know that. What's happened? No connection. <clears throat> okay, so let's try to let's try to figure that out. Let's try to repair it and go forward. So, where are you going to take it from here, Adriana? What's your plan? I was going to rebuttal with. Um, I know that Cap One does uh, mailers every other month. What if I what if I could uh, fill the months that you don't do pre-approved mailers with uh, Cap One with with uh, CPS mailers? What do you think? Is that going to fly? Yes. Yeah. How can we sweeten it? How can we make it really compelling? What if, what if I use a power phrase? Okay. So we're going to use a power phrase. In the power phrase, what's going to be the big incentive? Um, increasing, increasing yourselves. Is that going to get it done? Or do you need even more? Like be more specific. Like um, give a number of how much you can increase, and then use a testimony from. A All right, visit. I think you got it. When you're ready. Okay. Hit play and let's go. Let's go. Let's just rewind a little bit um, to. I'm using. Uh, it was a prime. Cap oh, sorry, cap one. I'm using cap one. So go back to that when you're ready, Heidi. Start with cap one, and then we'll see how Adriana takes it. Okay. Um, we just actually signed a mailer with cap one, so um, I've been you know getting some pretty good callback from them. Callbacks from them, so I've been sending my stuff to them. A lot of my subprime to them. Well, that's great. Um, I had heard from uh, some of my uh, dealers that also do mailers with Cap One um, that they only do it every other month. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, what if what if I can in the months that you don't do uh, pre-approved mailers with Cap One, if I can increase, if you can get uh, ten car deals by selling uh, pre-approved mailers with CPS? Um, yeah. Uh, do we have to send those uh, mailers that come in? Are we do we have to send them to CPS or? We would prefer that you do. However, um, if you get a better call elsewhere, you can send it to other lenders. But uh, do keep in mind that you do get a, a $150 uh, discount um, for sending that mailer with, with us and, and booking, booking the deals with us. And on top of that, if you use one of our hot cars, that's a $400 discount on that make. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested. Do you have some information, like pricings and stuff you can send over? I can get uh, my mailer reps in now. Um, she's an awesome okay. rep. She can go over the process. You guys can pick, uh, pick zip codes of where you want to drop your mail and uh, get a quote from her. Okay, that sounds like that sounds great. Okay, what time would be best for her to call? She usually likes to call and um, explain to you the process and then also um, email you some information. Okay, anytime after lunch is good for me. Around? 1.30. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much, Bonnie. <coughs> Let's give these three a great round of So boy, they upped the ante by, by taking a complex issue, right? And they dove deep into it, didn't they? So let's talk about three things that we love from their approach. I bet Alice's hand, but his hand goes up fast because he's ready. Oh, more I love the fact that 
after she heard that Kavanaugh was doing it, she wasn't afraid to say, well, just because you're buying with Scout One doesn't mean that you won't buy with us. So that's what her offer, you know, in the, in the, in, in the interim. What a beautiful approach, right? So it was, it was really skillful there where she goes, oh, that's awesome. I understand that Cap One sends them out every other month. Why don't we match them and work with them? We'll send them out on the odd months, right? So it's positive, it's friendly. Did she bad mouth her competition? No. no. Could she have? Yeah. yeah. Why shouldn't she? It does, right? Anytime we start talking bad about the competition, it just drags us down into the month, right? We get into that whole mini party thing, so we just want to avoid that completely by showing that we understand the competition and we can get in there, we can compete with them, and we can beat them. So nicely done. Go for it, Michael. What's something else you love? I really liked how she, it felt like she, it was kind of predetermined. She said it was going two to seven deals a month. I feel like before she even called, she kind of, she already knows it's slow because she's usually getting 10 deals a month from them. So she's already, she already knows it's slow. So I feel like she went into the conversation in the, in the set mind of, of selling a Miller. Awesome, okay. So she had a clear picture of what she, she knew it was slow. She had in her mind that it was probably about the competition. And so she already had a solution ready to go, right? Nicely done. What's one last thing that we really loved about it? Go for it, Teresa. How she, she asked for the businesses to cap one and the other lenders, what they're using. She said, well, I can do that. If you give me that approval, I can try and hopefully better the call to make, help you make more money. Like match it, that, that was good. Absolutely, right? We're gonna match or we're gonna beat the competition where we possibly can, that's great. So great point, let's think about one piece of feedback, one thing to take it to a new level for Adriana. Go for it, Dan. Um, when she was asking the questions on why there was a drop off in business, be a little more specific. Um, try to narrow those down, you know, find out if it was because of volume or it was just another lender, right? There, there are variables outside of your control that they're going to just be slow, and you may not have anything to do with that, but you got to find out why, right? Because if it was, again, fees or whatever, then you can say, hey, I can match the competition. But if not, you know, they, they may say, hey, we bought a new inventory. We can't push these units, right? Okay, then you can't really help them with that, you know, or we got, oh, we got a new ownership, and they don't want to do something. You can't help with that, you know? So you try to find out from them why there's a drop-off in the subprime. Trying, trying to dive into that is a great yeah. way to go, trying to understand what exactly happened. Um, one final thought, go for it. After you've done all that and, and handling that objection, I push it more toward the DM so the DM can answer the questions more specifically as far as the demographics and where to send them. Because Cap 1's mailers aren't the same as ours. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're probably higher, uh, higher credit as opposed to ours. And I think Cap 1, I think they only mail to their own customers, right? Correct. So could have, could have mentioned that. Maybe, maybe should have, maybe should not have, right? Could have mentioned that. So there's some good stuff to be thinking about, right? They only mail to their customers. They go every other month, which you already caught on to. So there's some good opportunity there. Cheers for taking a really tough call and turning it into something very positive. Uh, it's really <laughs> it's one very important question we didn't answer. Coach, what's the one piece of feedback you would give these two? Uh, maybe just get into the mailer program a little bit. Okay, so get a little bit deeper into that mail program so the crystal clear on it. Thank you very much. <laughs> so in a moment we're going to have Teresa and her group come up. Let's just think for a second about, uh, about this issue because a lot of these calls start this way. A lot of our situations, we've seen our <coughs> deals go from a stream to a trigger, right? And so we know that's the purpose of our call. And we've said, you know, we know what's in it. Like, we know our job is to call those dealers when it's gone from a stream to a trail. Right? When, they've, when they've gone from 10 apps a month down to two. We know that's our job. But do the dealers care that that's our job? No. What'd you say? So how should we say it? What can we say differently to open that call up? Other than you used to do 10 applications with me, now you're doing two. What's changed? Okay, we could say, hey, what's changed? We could say, hey, you used to see 10 from me, and now we're seeing two. What's, what's happened? Is it something we're doing or not doing, or what are we doing that we think we do? Now, see, that's one, like, um, do you guys know, have you ever heard of Odyssey Golf? Mm -hmm. Heard of Odyssey Golf? So um, it's a lesser known company now, because Callaway bought them. Um, but Odyssey putters were the ones that, um, or sorry, Odyssey drivers were the ones that Tiger Woods used to use. 
Okay, and, and I got to I got to know the founders of Odyssey Golf pretty well, Michael Brower and Mitch Thrower. And these are really sharp guys. And um, at the time when I when I knew them, they were talking about how they decide uh, how they get people to help them with funding. And what Michael Brower said is, you've got to tap into the I want to help you nerve. Right? People want to help other people in most cases. Right? But let's get real about that for a second before we go to this last presentation. If you see someone homeless on the side of the street with a sign, what's your first thought? Good job. Good job. Let's be real, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of us are there, right? But what if you saw, what if you saw a mother with her two kids stop by the side of the road trying to change a flat tire? Yeah. Right? Who knows what her home situation is? We don't know, and yet it's a totally different perspective, right? So the point is that, that I want to help you nerve, it's a very, very sensitive nerve. If we call up a client and we say, hey, you used to do 10 deals a month with you, looks like we're doing two, I'm worried that we've done something wrong. Could you tell me maybe what it is? Right? Or hey, I've seen where we used to do 10 calls with you, now we're doing two. I feel like we've lost a relationship. What can I do to get it back? Right? Or hey, I've seen we went from 10 calls down to two. How can we earn the opportunity to work with you again? Right? So all of those are different ways you could phrase it. At each one of your tables, just come up with a quick phrase that you're going to open that call with from now on. You get two minutes and no more than two minutes. Same thing in Vegas. You guys can work as one group. But come up with a new phrase where we're going to use something different than what we've done before about how we open that call when we've gone from like 10 apps per month down to two. On your marks, get set, go.